So um, remember in this one, if they're looking for the horizontal tangent line, you know, if, we're, if we have a function, we're looking for this horizontal tangent line, then we know that slope has to equal zero, zero right? And that's what we talked about with uh, particle motion. We were, we were trying to find like the maximum of something or the minimum. We're looking at the derivative and where that derivative is equal to zero. Well, this is the exact same thing. This is actually to prepare you for a type of problem like that, but that's why I was going back and practicing them. So we need to identify when the derivative is equal to zero. Um, so the first thing we need to do is find the derivative. So I'll just say y prime equals 1 um, plus cosine of x, right? Because the derivative of sine is cosine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, right? Um, so therefore, now we just need to set that equal to 0 equals 1 plus cosine of x. Therefore, I can say cosine of x equals negative 1. Says the, they want our values between 0 and 2 pi of the unit circle. So we need to determine at negative 1 what is my angle between 0 and uh, 2 pi. And in radians, that angle of that's negative 1 comma 0. So that's when x equals negative. That's when the cosine value, right, the x value is equal to negative 1. So that angle from there to there is pi in radians. We're always going to be using radians. Um, so yes, we can just say x is going to equal pi. And that's it. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. What did it say? It says, determine the point. I did not determine the point. I determined the x value. Now that we know what the x value is, let's plug that back in. So therefore, that's x equal, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. y equals pi plus the sine of pi. So what's the sine of pi? Zero. Zero. So therefore, y equals pi. So therefore, my coordinate point is um, pi pi. Hello. Oh, thank you very much.